Okay, Jeff, what are we looking at here? I know this is one of your homemade sensors for a new supercharger that you've been working on for a well, while. Yeah, one of four. One of four, yes, that we saw being machined up yeah. some time ago. That have but all been done on the uh, old... Old Miller? Barney Miller. Yeah, Barney Miller. But you were more interested in more... Well, we've got Daryl holes in one side because when we did that, we we could do that. Right. But, but what we made, here. this is a template that was done. Right, so this is not part of... This is the supercharger itself this is something you've made to make something else Th this is actually been made uh, to do what? I, I just finished it before you well, right yeah finished it and what it is it's got all our datum points on it and they copied bumps, from yeah. they copied from the original uh, lower what we've done the the plate was bored it's had two mandrels put in two discs machined it's taken some uh, there's probably yes. more work gone into making that than thing. the work on the bloody supercharger yeah, yeah. Uh, so what we can do now is when we turn them round as we've just Done. tried yeah. it's just a frat that a very is very tight fit yeah that is Interface fit. a perfect fit and the whole point of that we can, is what we can tap that in each end yes because now i mean the drill the drill holes we can just go in what i need to do is just mark them Tap in drill, and then we can thread them. Uh, quarter UNC. I thought I'll put a UNC thread in with it being aluminium. Mm -hmm. uh, then the down holes, we have a perfect drill, centre drill. Yeah, yeah, that just about fits. Uh, it? It's perfect. Yeah, the the actual. Uh, what we can do is, is drill it. We have a, a seven point eight drill then that we can go in with, mm -hmm. and then the reamer to finish the holes off. Right, because they're not going to be uh, threaded there, just... Uh, well, the then, they're... what it is, is when the case goes on, that's that's a nice tap fit dowel. Right. Yeah. So it'll go into the case. And where is the case? Where is the outer case? Uh, well, that, they're over there somewhere. One of these? Yeah. Well, pieces, yeah. that is... So that's the uh, real thing that's going to be on there yeah. at some point. Yeah. But that's not the real thing, and that's just a template. It's a template to, template help to get all the holes yeah, lined all up. Holes. Because they have to be spot on, otherwise... The uh, all the rotors, the rotors won't won't work together. So you've got what three sets of rotors in the background there? They're all a bit damaged. No, two. No, two, two. Sorry, let me just have a look. Zoom over there. So what? So there are they going to be the ones that are going to be going in here? I mean, they look uh, damaged to me. They're, they're the ones out of that damaged one. Oh right. Okay. Uh, so that's which we were just discussing. It's yes, not. It's not really worth the, trying to repair. The, the, not for what you can pick them up no, for. No. Uh, that that is a pair that out of a. What the eat and suffer is, is that Teflon comes off the rotors. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're still in beautiful yeah, condition. It's, it's, well, that was like, yeah, it was completely it's me. It's not, oh, it's, it's, it's it's got, it to flake it's, off. Yeah, no, but the actual material is still very oh, sharp the aluminium, there. once yeah. you paint strip it, takes it off right. perfectly. And you'll uh, run it without the coating now? Uh, well, if you're running, I, on, what I'll be doing is we've just been running the fuel straight through the supercharger. Yeah. Um, so the, the slight inefficiency of, of and, no and you can always speed it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can play around with the, the gear in, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so that's going to be a good one. Whereas so the other two there, they're just scrap basically. They're well, we were just saying, up. is it worth repairing for what you can pick? And the answer is no. Another one. Because it would cost you more to repair it than it would be to no, but buy a, a second hand set that may be in good nick. Okay, so next week or so when I come back, we'll see oh, how well, you've been I'll progressing have, uh, with this. There's a lot of work to do yet on yeah, these. Yes, well. Um, and in the meantime, I've got a cup of tea waiting for me it's all next door, so uh, we'll so, pause it there and I'll come back next week and see how far you've got. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, Jeff, so here we are a week later and you've got another supercharger end case on the Miller. I take it that's the real one, not the template. The, the, the template is underneath, right, it's been okay. bored yes. and it's doweled. Yes. And what we're doing, we're opening up the, where the seals go and the, like bearings the bearings for, for the, the inner case where the gears are. Yes. Um, we've done the outer ones. Well, I've done the outer ones. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have. You're not you were asleep while I did yes, that. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> or walking dog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we've, we're doing them individually and popping them on a mandrel uh, on the rotary table. Um, right. And we're just going in at the minute. We've done the pilot hole for the case. You can't see it there, but mm -hmm. um, I believe you. I'd have to take it off and then there's a then there's a de certain depth for the seal mm -hmm. but what I've done is I've allowed I think it's three mil okay, let me just uh, go a bit. Let me see what's going on in there 
No, I can't, I can't really see that. Yeah, anyway, it, it we'll, needs to... Uh, we'll go back. The, the, there is a little lip where the rotor shaft comes through, it's mm -hmm. about 3 mil. Yeah. Uh, and what I've done on here, I've left it about 4, because what I need to do with it is to get the, 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 the plates... Once I've got the info here, then I can skim that to get everything... Aligned. Uh, well, obviously it's critical that the bearing seat, where the bearing sits, mm -hmm. is absolutely... If, it, if it's too short, it'll pull the rotor into the case. So it's it's got to be it's essential that you you you, do, you know. And I see on your table here a very detailed diagram. Oh, let's look at that. Yes. Oops. Hang on. I'll just kick the uh, tripod. There we go. It's a very detailed diagram there explaining what you're up to. And these are just mandrels to help you to hold. They, they, it, if anyone was to look at that, they'd go, what? Well, I know what it is. Yeah, it's yeah, all well, the points on the readout yeah, and, yeah, and the, the depths yeah. to give me all the... And these uh, are your mandrels you use to help yeah. align things up. Well, once we've got it, I'll try that. And that's that's just that's about 2,000 of the bearing size. Oh, hang on, I can't see that yet. And that's a, real, uh, and that's yeah. a bearing that we it, 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 that's, it, that's the one that was in the end case, it's just been sat there. Okay. They're, they're actually going to go on the Eaton rotors, because the, the bore of that is ideal. Right, okay. Uh, uh, the Eaton needle rollers are 60 or 70 quid a pair. Right. And I have a box full of these SK bearings. That have to be the right size? Well, no, the, it's 17, that is a, a nice tap fit onto the... Uh, the hardened shaft of the well, Eaton. But is that a needle roller bearing or is that a... No, it's a double, it's a double roller, right. which is yeah. probably better. Right, okay. And with having a box full of them, I must have about 20 of them. It beats buying them for... Well, with having to manufacture the parts, you might as well manufacture it to fit them. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, okay, so... Uh, the only thing I've got to do is get some new seals. Yeah. Now, I'm hoping that Eaton, in their infinite wisdom, Sell haven't them. had a one-off. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be able to find Because they, they've done one of them awkward things there. again they've actually in the casing in the standard casing they've made all the dimensions the same apart from the outer of the seals mm -hmm. where just one's annoy, 35 yeah. and one's 33.5 yeah, now why you. they've done that to annoy you that's why Jeff to annoy me yeah. yes that's right This goes wrong. This is a spare one, right. so I'll know if it's too big. Then on the neck, then I know that I've got two goals at getting all the information right. Okay, so test pieces. Yeah. Almost. I've actually gone. I wanted quarter of a mil, and gone I've gone fast. a fraction too much on the readout. And of course, when you do that, that happens. Right. So that's now. It's actually in, and it's too dingy. So. I know now when I come to do the other side, mm -hmm. I'll get it right. What not to do? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just eating a little cake fancy, so... The trouble is, there's, um, the only thing you could, I could do with that now is to uh, open it out and sleeve it. Yeah. Oh well. Well, you did say this was a test piece, so... Yeah, I, I thought I'll do one and uh, I, I can get all the information off it. Mm -hmm. So what okay. I can... With that, let's go have a look. What else have you been doing this last week? Okay, Jeff, we now come inside and we're looking at your Honda Drag Race engine, your CB72 stroke 77, big bore. And you're saying you've got a problem with the. Oh, no, it's not. There's not a problem. With these things. It's, when I had them made, I, the, I calculated and. So these are. Uh, your, they, they are well, I suppose being a bit long is better than being a bit yeah. shorter, as some would say. So you but, think these are now a little bit too long? Well, they're the ones that are in, and once the, the you got some top down, on. yeah, I've had to pack them. I mean, don't get me wrong, that you could do that when it's on. Yeah. But I've I've, met, I've I had another well, set. Let me just go around here. We've got a whole set of new ones. Is it them ones? Which haven't yet been. Yeah, that, have, that, that much shorter. But they've not been threaded yet. Well, so I'm taking up to Pete's tomorrow night, and okay. he's he's going to leave them with them, leave them with him. And he, right. he, in the capstan, he's got a spec. He, he cuts oh, them, right? And you know, all the threads are spot on, and 
Yeah. If you had to do our lemon in, in a centre lathe, you'd, it, it would be hard work. It'd yeah. be very hard work. Yeah. So what's this made of then? What are these made of? They're EM24 high tensile oh, steel. EM24. Yeah. So we're waiting to just to get this blower positioned and yeah. And then I can see where that thing's got to be moved. Oh yeah, that bracket. Yeah. You mentioned last time around, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I telling Les and I was telling him why I'd moved it, and I thought it looks so I can get the carburetor and everything mm. in. It looks a lot better. better. Okay. And I see you've got one of your homemade cases, cases yeah. on the vice for some reason. So what's happening with these? Just threading them. I've done all mm. the. Um, the yeah. ports have been milled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just that's the main I've just thing. sat it in. I've just got to do these other eight now. Yeah, they're actually quarter UNC. Oh, I've done them, and they're five sixteenths UNC. Have you got UNC? Not Even though our Les said you should have done a metric. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know what it was. I just thought it looks. It sounds. Well, of course, is yeah. uh, handy to have. Well, I thought with it, it? being in uh, mind you though the the grade of the aluminium six mil would have been okay. I know, but, but it's it's. Yeah, but it's starting to look more like a supercharger now because yeah. you've got the ports in, so yeah. that's good. Well, all, all the thingies are, the, like I say, all the holes are drilled. All the dowel holes fit perfect. Mm -hmm. um, there is, like you say, I've just got to thread them, do that one. Okay, so that says on there number four. And I've had a rethink on the so end case I, as well. Okay, oh God. We'll go around here now. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we spun round. And when I'm looking at your workbench, you've got another... I've, um, that's the one, piece. that's the test one I did, even that, but that one there, as I did it, it just falls it's trying in. to set up and get all the mat, mm. it's just done, and it just, the bearing just, it's, it's a very tiny small piece, it, isn't it? It's, it's a very, I mean, <clears throat> some would say, some of that super duper Loctite on them, and you're never going to move oh, them, yeah, no. but, if it, I mean, for me, I'd, I'd use it myself, but if you're doing it as for, for a job, for a yeah. job yeah. You, you, and of course, this thing here is the original, that's where I've been getting all my info. That's off, your yeah. sort of dating it, it's points. Me info. That's where you get your dating points yeah. from. And you can see there how complicated it is to try and. Well, get you've, the, got uh, the you've got the, that, that, the bottom holes to clear the, just the shaft. Yeah. Then you've got that recess there, little step. Is that for the bearing, is it, that you're trying to replicate? That, that's there so the seal obviously doesn't go into the case. Yeah. So there's a depth from that face. Mm -hmm. uh, but as we, as we were saying, the gauge of that is about three mil. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do is, once them are done, is then they need fly cutting off to uh, to get that, that gauge yeah. and all the information. Mm -hmm. um, okay, but you were saying about these copper or brass uh, caps you've got there that you wanted to use. Well, originally retro. we were going to. Uh, uh, I mean, to make them is a lot of work. Yeah. But they would have looked nice. They're from some plumbing thing, isn't it? Some sort. I don't of, know. You found them from somewhere. But that other uh, that Marshall supercharger I had a year or two ago, it had a plate. It looks a bit crude that but it had it like a figure of eight plate mm -hmm. that's right yeah and it had yeah. four it had four bolts holding it on mm -hmm. and they just milled it in it, it basically figure of eight so if i can make some of them and put four uh, put eight quarter bolts small bolts yeah holding and it's, them in. And it's just a cover it's just a cap isn't it? it all it is is to hide just to yeah. cover well basically what you'll get is the bearing like mm -hmm. Yeah. Why is that one there? Uh, won't get in. There it is. Basically, it'll, it'll end up like that. Two bearings in there. Yeah. So a bit like that. that. The shafts will come through. I've worked out probably about six mil. Oh really? Oh, that's quite a lot. Yeah. So what I'm going to have to do is make the plate and bore uh, two clearance holes in it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the only the only other thing I can do because the shafts on them. Uh, you can't see it on that one. I mean, what I don't want to do is um, their ha that one's tapped on. Their hardened end shafts, yeah. And they, um, I could with the grinder cut. You could cut through them, but oh no, no, no. And Sounds then grind them up. <laughs> Sounds awful. So. With the amount that's sticking through, if you make a cap up, we'll just have to make it a bit longer, yeah, yeah. just yeah. to disguise well, you it. You can always bevel the edges, can't you? Remember? It's not only that, if you do cut it off, what you, let, you then end up losing is your centre. Yeah. So if you ever want to do anything on it, yeah, the shaft, lost yeah, yeah, you've, lost you've lost your datum point. No, I mean, you can make it look, you can do something, I mean, it's quite big now, isn't it? So therefore you can do something with it, put some interesting 
yeah. machining in there or engrave it or something, put your name on it, who knows, initials on it, who knows. That one taps in as well, oh there you go, that's the one that fits mm. in. But we'll, uh, yeah, let's just do that there. Let me just refocus, if, Jeff. If not... Okay, Jeff, yeah, so go on, spin it around again so we can see what we're talking about. Well, they're yeah. not obviously this case has got to have the gears in it yet. Yeah, yeah, but that's how it compresses that, that, the air. That's basically what it'll be like. Yeah. It will actually... Pro it'll Except it'll be spinning around at about 10,000 RPM. Well, you... Mm. Not quite that. Possibly, Possibly, yeah. yeah, yeah. Possibly. Uh, well... Half engine speed, maybe, or...? I don't want the engine... If, if, if the engine revs to 8 or 9, it could be it could be hitting maybe 12,000. Oh, yeah, yeah, over engine speed. 11 and a half, yeah. 12,000. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm gearing it, actually... Um, Quarter over end, engine quarter, speed, yeah. yeah. So yeah. these rotors will have to be machined down, and once they go in there, like you say, um, that it'll need a cap on. Um, okay. But that, I was, well, working out whether just to leave. I, th I drew that with more webs on it, and it looks too much. I would leave it like that, leave it flush. So and what then... I need to do is set it in and actually mill in. No, I don't mill it. Set, no, I've got to mill in with mill in them sections so it's only about 10 mil or 3 eighths thick there and then when them webs are, do, are done he's angled them down yeah yeah make them look a bit pretty yeah, yeah. and okay. you can do the same thing with that figure of eight uh, um, that cover. figure of eight thing will just be if it's gonna be pretty thick you can angle it can't you, you can bevel the edges uh what i can do with it is chamfer yeah the, that's um, what i mean the pod, yeah. yeah make it look cool okay jeff so here we are a few days later on a very wet and windy day Yes, water drips. Yeah, yeah, a few drips everywhere in your extension. Uh, and well. I see on your rotary table on the miller is what looks like... I've just set up, yeah, uh, one of them little end caps. An end cap that you talked uh, about the other day. So you've uh, made a start. I was just about to uh, do our little figure eight shape. Okay, well if you go then um, and, uh, and, and we'll film get it. it to where we want. Yeah, we'll just take power on. put some power on. Yeah, that'll help. Uh-huh. Well, I can see now where you've um, started to make that figure of eight shape in the centre of those two etch circles. Hope you can see that on the video. It won't take long to do this. So, how long do you think about? Ten minutes? Twenty minutes? Half an hour? Uh, all right, well half an hour say, so we'll come back in half an hour, I'll go and drink tea, eat some biscuits, and uh, we'll come back and see what's going on. Uh-huh. Are we ready? Yeah. Right, this is the, we've, we've gone round now, a good few cuts to get it off. Yeah. We're just taking off uh, that last. a, tw a 10 pound cut, I think, no, 20 pound cut, half okay. a mil. Yeah. It ends up with a few little ripples in it, but I, I think by the time you've rubbed it and polished yeah, yeah. it, you, you well, I thought you were going to bevel it, weren't you? Maybe bevel the side. No, I can't. No. I think by the time you've actually just gone round it with a deburr and a file and it's been polished, it just takes that sharp edge off it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so now we can start to see that figure of eight shape that you're talking about, that you're almost there now. It's getting the cutter to run in, so it, it's, when it comes round, it ends up just with that nice little loop. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, Go too far. Okay, that's it. Do that and all done. Off. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so now we come back. To, oops, hang on. Okay, so we come back to the workbench, and mm -hmm. here's that piece we've just been seeing being machined up, and this is where it's going to live. Yep. It's going to go over here. This is the end end piece for one of these superchargers, yeah. and um, yeah, that's the wrong way at the minute. I've actually pressed in some aluminium. Uh, Fit uh, lugs that now wants skimming off, okay. And the bearings will go up against that lug and faces. Yeah, right, okay. I've used that super duper lock tight, and there's about a two thou interference fit. Yeah, don't think I'm going to use it. They're not going anywhere, no. so they then will go in there. In there yeah. That they're the ones that, that's this is our test one, so they'll fit in like that. Yep, this is the test, the test one. The, the just a so it's usable, I mean you could lock tight them in but if, you know, then that will screw on there. So you've got to drill some I've, I've it, Well yeah. what I can do with them is put something like a, a little Allen screw, a little snug fitting, you know, a, mm -hmm. 
uh, you can get them little anodized uh, Suck it in. caps, yeah, like but plugs. Yeah. In fact, I think I've got some brass ones somewhere about half inch, which right. are. Right. Oh. So basically, that will go in there then and stop the burn from uh, moving. Moving. And to hold it, you're just going to drill yeah. and tap yeah. some holes in this. It's just that well, I've, when I mark the where, where we want to mill out, I've done it on the side that <laughs> I've the put them in, and then yeah. Oh well. It doesn't mind. matter because no, no. but that will basically fit on there. Yeah. All them sections are going to be milled out, so we've got them webs. Yes. And then it's going to be them. The edges here. It's going to be difficult to machine them. It'd probably be easier just to sort of hacksaw them and maybe yeah, just, just file them in. Just hand file it, yeah. Smooth. But then you've got yeah. to do it four of them. So uh, let's just see. There's what, a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. And all not really necessary because you've already got a blue supercharger, but you want it to be cool looking. Uh, and uh, well, yeah. yeah. But as we were saying about, it's the carburetor where it goes in. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. cause it's it's, it's causes some issues. If if you had a reversed head bike mm -hmm. and you could put it at the front, yeah, you'd be okay. You, you you're not going to get the problems. Okay. So but anyway, that's that little cap there, yeah. the figure of eight, as we mentioned. That's our pattern. What I've got, what I can do now, is if I get two 10 mil stuck uh, dowels, just tap that on. Oh, I see. You've yeah. already done that I've, already. What I've done in the miller, I've done them all to 58.5 centres. Right. So if I if I just put a couple of uh, nice fitting bolts in there, I can you then can use that template to I drill can the then, holes. Rather than yeah. keep going through with the miller, I can then just use that. Yeah. To do all the holes. All the holes accurately, mm. yeah. yeah. Plus, once I've done that, I can then do, do the and same And then we make that. another three of them for these. I'll just do one. Uh, well, I've made a, a couple there. Oh, you've already done. Spare bits of place. Okay, there, look like that. We've got it's always more. handy because if you're setting up. Yeah, once it, you've done it, one, you it, may it, have to do four. Well, sometimes you can make an odd mistake if you're first yeah. setting up. Yeah. You think, oh, crap, I've gone a bit too far. Yeah. And then, so it's always. Well, we've, oh. got to mill, we've just got to mill these side faces down. Yeah. As, yeah. as you can see there now. Yeah. We've got to put two mandrels through the holes, which yep. I have. Yep. They're actually done to 18 mil, mm -hmm. and with a couple of gudgeon pins in there, mm -hmm. once they're set up in the vise, you can just rest it in and polish them two sides down. Keep turning it round so that they both end up to so within a, th a few thou, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a thou at least, okay. the same. So okay. I've got to change well, the rotary we shall, table. We shall come back in a week or so, and we'll see how you've uh, done with that. Once we've got them done, mm. three of them then can go into storage yes. and then mm -hmm. I'm just going to concentrate on, on that one on one for the, for the Honda yeah right okie doke mm -hmm. and with that we'll call it a day I've got to go home and go and get the dog so um, and I'm going to lock up yeah so thanks for watching and um, and so thanks for watching and cheers